okay so as per the request today is the last session of this course geographic information system so i'm going to cover some of your doubts regarding projection system georeferencing datum and these things later we will cover on raster analysis okay so as i have taught earlier in the earlier class the georeferencing system is the you can say a kind of datum a mathematical uh, model that has to be related to the real world feature the reference frame locating points on the earth surface whatever we are mapping and doing we are doing with reference to the earth surface feature so to locate it properly we need some projection system projection system means what are the things on the globe we are trying to project it in like what are the things on your 2 3d sphere we are trying to project it in 2d map in 2d view so that's why we need projection system the projection is a map projection is a mathematical described technique of how to represent the earth curved surface on a flat map like as i have told like 3d to 2d representation the projection are spatial configurations used to fit a portion of globe onto a flat view that is spherical data from the globe is converted into a flat 2d presentation it is impossible see frankly to say it is impossible to exactly replicate the 3d features into 2d but still we can uh, you can say we can cover some of the features as we have four basic properties here you see it is impossible to make a spherical uh, map into perfect flat map just a minute i'll on my pointer perfect flat map uh without some distortion so some distortions will be there there are many projection each with its own advantages and disadvantages no single projection can maintain all the important spatial variables such as shape shape what are the four things shape area direction and distance okay so the projection system which uh saves the shape it's called conformality which conserves equal shape the equal area it's called equivalence the equal distance will call equidistance the the correct direction will uh, called as true direction property the from the globe to the 2d map which projection system saves this features will be called as that so gis can convert dis digitized map data into a selected projection or change from one projection to another as desired gis can convert digitized map data into a selected projection or change from one projection to another okay so what are the projections what it saves so as i have told conformity is a projection that preserves the shape of a feature across the map it's called conformal projection okay for example lambert conformal conic mer or mercator we call as mercator so you see here in this uh, um, figure i have shown how the mercator is thing so what it saves it preserves the shape of the features so you see here map feature shape is preserved and then equidistance is a projection that preserves the area of a feature across the map called equal area projection or equal area or equivalent projection do this best it's called as albert equal area or sinusoidal projection okay equal area cylindrical so equidistance is a characteristics of true distance measuring the scale of distance is constant over the entire map this property can be fulfilled on any given map from one or at most two points in any direction along the certain line so this this projection called as equidistance 
projection best suited to do this the true direction the property is important in order to preserve the direction okay on the map especially for navigation like azimuthal projection are well suited like if someone ask if you want to preserve the shape of any feature where it will work where we are concerned about the shape of the feature when we have any catchment for water uh, water conservation structure for watershed delineation so we need proper shape so that it will uh, give the opportunity to catch the rain so that's why we need for that kind of purpose we need conformality or lambert conformal conic mercator projection when we talk about navigation people when we need direction true direction to preserve so we'll go for azimuthal projection okay it it preserves that true direction okay similarly in the places where we need to conserve equal area so we will go for albert equal area sinusoidal projection so why do we need projection as i have already told projection are helpful to understand the 3d feature on a 2d map okay so we must choose an appropriate projection for the map to communicate effectively to make things understand we need map to understand feature we can't locate it like that it will be a bit uh, non clear understanding of any feature so it will be clear if it comes in a 2d map so part of a good cartography design we need projection for why we are creating map for all these things analyzing the geographic data along with the datum and the coordinate system we must know the map projection is what what data it is stored so identical projection are required for data to overlay correctly when we have number of layers or different thematic maps and we want to overlay correctly we need all projection should be in a equal uh, same projection system then only it will overlay on each other exactly so there are three common type of projection system azimuthal cylindrical and conic okay so the in addition to the projection feature projection get a lot of complicate because we can change the aspect like in in azimuthal you can change the aspect in uh, cylindrical you can also change the aspect and like that there are three different ways of understanding this projection system three types of projection system moving the light source change where the paper touches the globe so let me show you how it works when projection when uh, there is planar azimuthal graticul what happens you see there is a bulb inside the globe if we if we consider there is a bulb inside the globe and we are projecting light on the 2d paper so what it appears it will appear the azimuthal preserves what direction so it will preserve the direction into your map similarly for cylindrical you can see the bulb is and the globe is rolled with the uh, paper so it it catches what are the feature on the touching the uh, what are the feature of the globe touching the uh, 2d uh, this paper it's it will uh, replicate on the cylindrical Uh, projection similarly for uh, conical also so if you see here there are three ways the change where the paper touches the globe you can see when it comes to the when paper have been rolled in such a manner it will touches the outer boundary of the globe so it mostly falls or touching the center of the cylinder i am talking about this figure you can see here it is mostly talking touching on the center of this globe so it will saves your equal uh, feature on the equatorial region and similarly when you consider the paper have been rolled and the and inserted on the globe so it will catches two more intersects we assume like this so we will get two true features exact location so like that we have a regular projection aspect of the cylindrical projection oblique and transverse similarly for uh, your uh, 
conical also we have regular oblique it depends which direction you are uh, or which angle you are keeping your uh, paper similarly for uh, this azimuthal also plain uh, polar oblique and equatorial or in terms of when it comes to light source option so what happens orthographic stereographic or vertical projection or gnomonic gnom projection so you can see all this orthographic stereographic vertical and mnemonic projection system as per the light source when light falls in this direction so what feature it will catches so it will catch all this feature which light is passing through similarly if it is the point opposite to the point of tangent on the projection it's stereographic projection and how the earth would look from this space if you see so it will catches the vertical projection and mnemonic projection is from center of the earth if you see so all this i have explained here so you okay so map projection commonly used for gis application for what mercator so map projection which is commonly used are mercator projection mercator comes under cylindrical projection as i have showed you here you can see mercator cylindrical mercator okay see mercator projection two can compass direction are maintained lines of latitude and longitude are at right angle to each other but the area is distorted towards the pole this is cylindrical projection we often use universal transverse mercator utm which is coordinate system applied to a mercator projection so as i have told what are the map property can be preserved what are their names i have again mentioned in this slide then the coordinate reference system in general we have two coordinate reference system one is your gcs which is geographic coordinate system and one is your utm zone in general the gcs is like on the globe which i generally used to take from a map when it comes it goes to wgs 1984 as i have told you also regarding this in india we will having this everest as per the indian reference system everest is the main one but uh, as per uh, uniformity all over the globe we are going for wgs 1984 can be considered to all most of the countries that's why we are preferring wgs 1984 when it comes to geographic coordinate system but when it comes to projected coordinate system we will go for utm when we go for projected coordinate system means this 3d glow feature have been projected to your 2d map now you want to get the direction now you want to get the shape now you want to get the area calculation or the distance calculation so you have to change the, your projection system from your gcs to your pcs which is projected coordinate system the horizontal unit vertical unit projection Uh, projection information are the key component of the coordinate reference system okay so just for your uh, this definition i'm explaining a uh, system of expressing the position of a point on the earth surface by planar rectangular coordinates using a particular map projection such as utm lambert conical projection or an azimuthal stereographic projection system are projections are your this two projection system so as i have covered the one problem based upon this so india is having six utm zones as per the utm so what is that utm universal transverse mercator as i told mercator comes under cylindrical projection transverse means longitudinal direction okay so here if you see where gujarat is falling gujarat is falling in this zone gujarat is falling in this zone which is 42 and arunachal pradesh is falling in you can see far far east this reason 
this is uh, further here also 47 also is there just covered like this so 47 zone 47 so this i have covered have you got it maps so you can see like this the zones are okay yes ma'am thank you thank you ma'am okay now let me go to uh, this today's class things what i have thought i will cover uh, when uh, like i have downloaded some raster dem raster from bhuvan and i want to uh, you can say mosaic it the raster mosaicing and then i will implement uh, overlay one uh, vector layer one uh, basin i have chennai basin and then I will show you how to see the dem features based upon that. So let me start the work. Okay. So I have the data here. I have saved the data in our class module data sets. So class NPTEL data is. See we have dem type. Okay. We have Chennai boundary. Chennai basin boundary. We have dem type. So these are all dem which is in TIFF format. So raster mostly will be in TIFF format and vector will be your shape file format. So you see shape file having some ancillary with it. I have taken only one shape file vector data which is Chennai basin bound. So I will show you how it looks like. Okay. So let me go to my QGIS. Now I will import the layer add layer add raster layer because i want to work upon raster last time we have done some hands-on on the vector data so i just thought of covering vector uh, raster layer in this class so dem tiles i am having four dem which our shape file is falling over this four dems so how it will look see how four dems will look see one two three four are you able to see Malay? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. If you don't get, please stop me in between. Okay? Okay. I usually, what I usually used to do, I used to keep my background image with that. So, if you see here, there is a projection system. Can you tell me what is the projection system here? Here it is showing. EPSG 4362. Are you able to see my screen, Male? So, current CRS is EPSG 4326 WGS 84. Okay. So, I am keeping my background image here just to make you aware from where the reason is falling. Okay. So, if you see, I am keeping my Google Satellite hybrid imagery in background. So, you see here, it is the region of Southern Peninsula of India. If I do zoom to layer, so I will just click and zoom to layer, so it will show you. So, this is my one tile, two tile, three tile, four tile. So, I have four different tile. If I off it, you see. Okay. So, this is one tile. This is second tile, this is third tile, and this is fourth tile, which is covering the Chennai region. So now what I want to do, I want only one single tile. I don't want four different, different tile to do some processing or analysis. But uh, what happens? Okay, I want to bring my Chennai basin also. So we'll be able to see why we need. So I will go to add layer. Add vector layer. I'll select my Chennai Basin shape file. Open this. Add this. Now, you see, I want to change the symbology. I will go to the property table of this Chennai Basin layer. I'll do it outline black only. I want to change my black color to any bright color it can be yellow it can be 
okay keep it red okay okay so you see now this this reason if you see if i off my dem you see this is covering the basin of chennai so all four dams are covering this reason so i want one single dam so what i will do to merge the feature in raster we usually do mosaicing so how it will work i'll go to raster go to miscellaneous you see there is a merge option so merge will help us to bring different tiles all together as a single tile i'll go to merge i'll select my input feature all these four tiles okay then i'll just save it i'll go to save to file just save it in my data output okay i'll save it here itself this is merged merged if so i'll do run Are you getting me, Malay? Yes. So you see, now I just kept it color, so that's why it's showing some colors. So if you see here, now I'm keeping all the layers off. See, I kept all the layers off, which is single, single layers. all four tiles ha na and then if you see if i if i on my merge tiff so if i off all the layers so this is a single tile you see single tile means all four tiles have been merged and the merging range falls from minus 1 to 8888 you can see so this is dem distal elevation map so if i go to identity tool i'll be able to if i click here and i want to see the merge tile values so it will show you okay now i don't want different bands here i have chosen different band again i am going to do miscellaneous merge now i will select here i have chosen this place each input into a separate band that's why different bands are coming now what will i do i just keep it like this only i don't need to change anything i'll go and i'll save this file i'll give the run now i got this merge tile here okay keep it off i don't need this tile so you can remove this layer do yes so you see if i do identity tool merge tile so i'm getting one band value 190 90 means 90 meter elevation here it is coming zero why it is coming zero can you let me know this side no band values is coming zero are you seeing can you tell me why it is coming zero this tile no value if you see here and because same level yeah same level water body and if you see here is the land features land feature having some elevations yeah. from if you right see right side see same uh, level this. yeah yeah correct correct then ab uh, now i want to clip this because this style i just want for my basin see what basin i have i want to clip it for this reason so this is my basin now i will go to raster i'll just search here in toolbox itself there is processing toolbox right so i'll search here itself clip as i told you in previous classes for interpolation also whatever uh, tool you want to work up with you go to processing toolbox search option is there you just type it you'll get the tool you need no need to search in here and there here in all these toolboxes so i'll go to clip raster by 
what we have mask layer we have one layer which is chennai basin layer so that's why i'm going with the mask layer okay let's try this so i have my merged tile here i have chennai basin see but the thing is the chennai basin having the projection of 36 32644 which is utm projection and merge tile is having the projection of wgs 1984 you see here epgsg 4326 you see here epsg you see my cursor it epsg 4326 is showing wgs 84 now first thing to change the raster projection what i used to do i go to raster go to projection i'll do warp projection means to change the projection so i'll go to merge now source source one is your wgs84 you want to target which target crs you want 32643 okay so no need to change anything just give the file location where you want to save and then give run now you can see it it is a bit shifted so tilted so you can see the shift will tell so okay now it is projected you see here now your projection system is so reprojected it comes as a name of reprojected i did not save with my location i just reprojected so you can keep it as temporary layer but if you keep it as temporary saving it will go when you close the pro project so be very careful if you want to save the layer go to layer export save save as or save layer as okay you can do so i'm not interested in this so i just kept it like this so you can see the properties here in the information you can see the crs projection system wgs 84 utm zone 43 and projected here it is projected so now you want to clip it so let's go to the processing toolbox clip raster by mask if you go reprojected then chennai basin you see both the uh, no it will falls under 32644 i made a mistake are you seeing what is the mistake So let's reproject it. I'll again go to raster, go to projection, var projection. I have this. I want to reproject this 44n. So I'll do reproject. Now I'll save to the file. I will give projected. Projected dim. I'll give a run. now you see this is the projected dem i will go to properties i'll check the properties 44n now i'll go to clip raster by mask here you can see now both projection it should fall on both projection to clip it for the given extent that's why we need same projection so please mind these things huh, before doing just keep no data value as just scroll your mouse cursor and you will be able to see just some random values okay just go to save file to clip done so i am just giving the name is clip i'll give run now you can see here are you able to see how chennai have been clipped yes ma see how nicely it has been clipped the dem so now you can see the clip feature identity tool helps you if you have number of raster on overlays on each other it will help you to select which raster feature you want information you want you can open and you can drop down this thing you'll be able to see the value of 
that particular thing whatever it covers means here it is covering distal elevation model so it is having the elevation value it is here it is 95 here you can check you can check changing you can select each point having different different values so now i want it so now if you see i will off my google satellite background now you understood now from where this region belongs chennai region now i want to change the symbology of this clip go to property go to symbology to better appear this uh, elevation will go with heel shade option we'll do apply do okay to we'll see so how the land features are appearing if you see your google satellite image you will be able to understand the feature see there is vegetation it's appearing very clear image of what are the earth feature elevated and on the land surface it's not that slopy because it's near the coast so keep it in mind and then we'll change the symbology with any other contours you can see the contour lines you can change the contour interval also if you want see interval is 100 meter so it is not having i'll keep it as 10 meter let's see how it is looking so you can see the all of the background google satellite image so these are the contours so now index contour interval also if i keep 10 100 we'll go for single band pseudo color it will appear good so i'll just to classify continuous i'll make equal interval i want five classes i don't want negative value so i am changing negative value what is this way depression okay so now you can see the dem looks like that the range value now with the dem what more can be done okay if we have any landsat imagery or uh, if we have uh, where we can get the land feature this is distal elevation model if we have data from usgs landsat or bhuvan also this landsat uh, image list three data is there we can classify different feature from this region like what are the background if you keep on you'll be able to see the some vegetation i'm keeping off this thing here you will be able to see the some vegetation covering okay here you'll be able to see some barren lands are you getting me road feature road line network you can make here you'll be able to see some agriculture land agriculture means some area have been see plots are there so agriculture plots it is here it is normal random forest nothing is there nothing Uh, it's a haphazard manner, and here it is barren land. Again, you see here. If we have any USGS or satellite imagery, so we'll be able to classify different feature on this reason. Any reason, whatever reason you see here, how much urbanized area it is. Let's say. that comes under land use land cover classification as people will do urban see here how much barren land and dry so here so much popul uh, populated reason urbanized so that's why it is not having any other feature other than see dry lands and plots and uh, agriculture fellow plots you see this is all fellow plots and some urban 
reason. So like that we can see the different features and we can digitize it. So let's try to digitize some reason. Okay. How to digitize? <coughs> For digitization, we'll create one shape file or we'll be having this Chennai Basin shape file. Now I'll do toggle editing on. Okay. What I have covered in this class, I have covered projection system. I have showed you the projection differences and assigned the projection for the raster. I have given mosaicing. I have given clipping. And I have made you understand about the DEM feature symbology. But we can make the map also, but uh, uh, I just want to show you how to digitize some feature in this reason. So let's show you a few I'm just uh, like, uh, it's not detailed one, but uh, you can make detailed one also because a lot of features are there. So first I want to clip a small reason from this because it's very big basin. Okay, let's try to see the area covered in this basin first because, so I'll, how to get the area covered in any shape file, we'll go to attribute table. We'll do right click, we'll go do open attribute table so here nothing is there you see if we do open field calculator we'll go to current field uh, current uh, we we have update uh, we have existing field of area of the basin now i'll select area and I'll, I'll go to geometry dollar area so it is coming around seven nine two zero three five two seven five three point something so it's it's in meter because i have taken the projection system utm zone it gives you distance in meters so what will i do i'll divide it to convert it one meter square into kilometer square because it's in an area i'll divide it by 10 to the power six so one and six zeros so you can see now the area is around 7920 kilometers square around this is Chennai Basin. Okay. So this much area. This is very big area. So what will I do? First I want to clip a small region from this basin. So I will select one region where I have some good number of uh, you can say features. Okay. So if you see here this is lake this is urbanized area some vegetation also should be there okay okay so if you see here this might be a good reason to select so here the urbanized area, here some agriculture land, here some fellow land, here some vegetation and here some dry water body if you see. It's a lake, it's caught a bit dry as per the Google satellite imagery. So we can go for it. Okay, let's make. Extract layer by extent. Okay. So I want to extract from Chennai Basin boundary. It is in meters. So I'm not giving any round values. I'm going to do uh, extent will be Give me a minute. I'll clip. I'll clip by extent here. You can see clip option is like as in raster. We can clip in vector also. So clip by extent. Chennai Basin extent. I want to just use the map canvas. Draw on canvas. Okay. So I'm going to draw this reason. I want to clip it. 
so this will cover so many things with it okay so now i have selected so it came in coordinates now i'll go to save to file this is clipped SHV leave the run yeah I got it see here I got this rectangular box here now I just I don't know need to change my Chennai Basin thing see here it is in Chennai Basin this clip reason small reason I have selected to digitize so it will be easier for us to understand okay it's very small so let me just off all the other layer other than our background Google satellite I am keeping on to understand the feature now I'll off my Chennai basin I'll go to clip the shape I want to make it hollow change the color green won't look blue is okay now you can see Uh, don't know why both the shape files are coming I will again do clipping because sometimes it may throw some error so I'll again do clipping here not able to identify my clip reason so clip raster clip vector by extent so I'll go to Chennai Basin clip extent use map canvas no draw map canvas so I have selected one reason where it went okay. am I clear to you are you understanding what I'm doing yes ma'am yeah, yeah okay so there is a water body if you see so now what will I do I will clip from this season where it will cover my agriculture land water body urbanized yeah. this reason will be fine so, yeah so clip to one save to file So now I got this the clip the reason now I'll do what change the symbology first to understand inside feature okay so this is my study reason which I have selected now I want to digitize this study reason as per different features what are there available so if you see there are in major perspective if you see there are four four features can you identify those four features what are those can you help me identify those four features
അല്ലേ so if you see here there are vegetation there are water body there is vegetation there is water body lake there is barren land there is agriculture land and fallow land agriculture land some fallow lands so some urbanized area so there are 1 2 3 4 5 in general five classes are there so let's digitize this four different reasons then let's start to digitize how we'll do we'll first do toggle editing on of this my layer clipped reason now i will go with you can see here there is add polygon one more option is there maybe it's not active so what i will do i'll right click digitizing toolbar i want to active so digitize toolbar snapping toolbar keep active shape this test tool but yeah it's not right the tool bar okay so there is option of add feature there is one more tool might be there i'm not seeing that tool here allow overlap now add polygon feature it's want to clip it clip this polygon so one option used to be there no vector i'm searching for that tool multiple lines to polygon no count points some now extract layer extent that is different split polygon tool is there which i am not getting here how oh, will i i see this Are you able to see? Okay, advanced. Yeah, it came. Advanced digitizing toolbar. So this is the advanced digitizing toolbar. You can say tool to work with. Okay, I'm sorry. So this was missing there. Okay. Now 
this is the toolbar let's start working with that in that what we have in this advanced we have this options you see here this ties with curve move feature rotate feature you can move feature scale feature add rings into this you can add the part we can fill the ring you can delete the ring delete the part so reshape it or offset or here we'll be getting a split feature in the advanced digitizing toolbar okay so let's go with this tool now i want to click for different so it is so what it's called is i'm classifying some different different features on the uh, keep keeping my background google satellite image on in this clipped region rectangular region and now then i will see the zones have been covered by different classes the digitized zone how many digitized zones are there what are the area under this okay so this is called as land use land cover classification okay so i'm i'm teaching you one advanced thing here so please be very focused if you get any doubt please ask me what i did first i have showed you the mosaicing of the dem data for the chennai basin and then i have clipped one reason from this chennai basin and now i'm going to decide keeping my google satellite hybrid image on in the background with that feature of the surface so how we will split so see the procedure how what i am following to split, split we can't split inside that thing we have to go, come from the out of this boundary and we go out from this boundary then only will be able to decide so you see the way i am digitizing here i am starting from out of this reason you might be seeing the red color line i hope it is clear to you and i'm digitizing the lake here you see how i'm digitizing and i come out so you see right click so i got one lake feature so it is not separate if you see there is the selection tool box this is one box sorry select feature this is one feature this is one feature you see so what i did i have split the split feature key using split feature i have split it the lake now again i want to do for see here agriculture areas are there so now i will again come from the outside i'll zoom it so that it will be clearly appearing to me the boundary so it's not correct you do escape so i have missed some lines that's why i'm again coming you can go like that so it's so where i'm able to figure out through my visual interpretation i'll be making it as i hope i am clear to you if there is any doubt in doing this please let me know this is called the classification level 1 what we are doing here so like that the maps used to prepared for land use land cover feature classification so you see i'm digitizing the think malaya are you understanding please let me know yes ma'am i am following okay you are following good so this is the agriculture region if you see here if i select this is so this is the agriculture region this is the lake region this is the agriculture region so how nicely it is clipping the boundary you have to be very specific with your boundaries that's why you have to zoom in and zoom out but don't forget to keep the scale uh, you have to keep a particular scale 
you have to set the scale then you will do it's like like when we clip we we have done a zoom to layer to see so there is a scale came 1 is to 11860 so this is the scale in that scale only we have to move so that is one of the thing which generally people should know when they digitize so that's why i am making you clear here now again i want to digitize for this vegetation uh, it's small okay we'll do escape now i will use my hand tool if you see here there is a hand pan tool so i'll go here and based upon the scale i will again go for split tool feature then i'll come from the outside now vegetations are more so now what i'm going to do i will digitize for the urbanized region so it will be good to go for so if you have digitized already one previous so you can come out from that also it will do uh, it's not working just a minute i'm roughly digitizing the urbanized region okay sorry i have done a mistake you can do control z if you have done a mistake so how will i go so i'll go with urbanized area <coughs> i'm sorry make me uncheck this because it's already selected it's not taking so that's why i'm not able to digitize for that reason i'm just roughly giving for the urbanized reason see here now it work it has selected priorly that's why it's not clipping the reason so i just have roughly selected for the urban reason it's not correct so what will i do i'll just delete this thing try to delete okay let it be then again i'll go to split option now i'll digitize for here here also some urbanized area is there so i will just clip start clipping from here from outside of this from boundary I'll go. I'll go like this. Urban spreader until here. I roughly just digitized it. Here also. This is agriculture area. This whole area is agriculture area. So from here. See, this is a no road network. This is also comes under urbanization, but I'm not considering that. So it depends upon us what feature we are interested in to look more clear. Here also some urbanized boundary I'm able to see. So this is all agriculture area because plots are you are able to see the plots. Okay. so i am trying to digitize this things others remaining will be comes under so this will be your agriculture it covers the fellow plus uh, you can say 
sowing lands also so no problem this all are barren lands if you see you see this lands are comes under barren lands we have to categorize also when we go to how we'll categorize we'll be using attribute table to categorize these things so we have to select each reasons and we have to give naming in we'll categorize this is called different classification so if you see here all remaining parts will be your vegetation some of the urbanized reasons are also here but that's what i told but we have to follow the scale which here i have zoom in zoom out we have to follow the scale so if we are able to catch this urbanized area also we can we can make one polygon here and split it so this is also one urbanized reason okay now i don't want to go with my scale which is 1 is to 1 11860 so now you can see there are five reasons so let me just go to the attribute table of this feature and give it the name anything else is remaining are you able to catch agriculture area where i have classified vegetation is all this remaining part urbanized area i have classified uh, barren and lake i have classified so it's just a rough way of classification you can be more detailed let's go to the attribute table so now i don't want all other field i will do select all and other than this field i'll delete all the field. okay Okay, fine. First, I'll save these things. So let's just do toggle editing off. It will ask you save feature. So you have saved it. Now again, do toggle editing on. So to change anything into your attribute table. Now here some ID numbers came. If you see here, there are eight polygons have been generated. So we have to now classify the different different polygon. We'll go to open field calculator or no we'll go to delete field option some some options are i'm not interested because it is there are lot of options so i will do and select some option and i will remove it from which is not have been used okay so what will i do i'll do okay so see here now only now i'll make one more additional field which is name area is there id is there name of this feature or feature also you can do so it will be in text format so i'll give length of how many letters it will take will be 30 okay so now what will i do i will name it all the polygon how i will name it i will select id so we'll see which id it is falling so you see this reason it has been selected so you see another one so this lake has been selected so now i'll be naming it as first one as urban what is this urban urban land Then will be your water body. So I'm giving it just water body. Third will be your agriculture area. Correct? Yeah. So agri culture. Okay. Then fourth, you select and see which feature it is. It is urban again. now you select and see this is what this is again agriculture 
fellow agriculture so i can give it as fellow land where because vegetations are not uh, plantation are not much so i just keeping fellow agri this will also be a class for us what is this another one this is the remaining area you see the remaining area this will be the vegetation see agriculture and vegetation are different or you can keep it as forest that will be clear forest see what is this part this is also agri uh, uh, urban and this is the barren number 9 this is the barren land now i have few classes okay now i'll save this editing okay id 6 is not valid okay let me just check which id okay so this I have miss edited so i'll keep it as this is id 6 sorry yeah. fine now i'll go to this attribute table now what i want to do i want to calculate first i have to merge what are the matching same reasons so let me merge some reasons which are same like you can see here urban 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 three urbans are there so what will i do i'll select this urban select this urban select this urban so i have three urban now i'll go to this is vector not raster go to layer sorry go to view sorry go to edit option go to attribute geometry it will be on uh, okay just give me a minute i have to on this toggle editing then you'll be able to merge it so go to view uh, edit go to geometry and it will ask you merge selected feature you see here so this all three feature are urban i want to merge it so i just do okay now you go to again your attribute table you'll be able to see only one urban reason there is no additional urban reason so i just keep it as one okay so i now i want to calculate the area of different reason so i have class 1 class 2 class 3 class 4 class 5 class 6 i have six classes now i will save it to save it now i want to calculate the area of all these classes okay so where will i go i'll go to open field calculator i have an existing table of area i'll go to area i'll go here geometry as i have calculated the area of chennai basin similarly dollar area divided by 601 in 60 which is in converts the kilometer square do okay see all area have been calculated you do save editing save okay now we have different features here so this is what this is land feature classification land use land cover map so you see here now i want to change the color i'll go to symbology i'll give not simple color i'll give some color to my field just i'll give some black color first so that okay now you see go to symbology i want to categorize categorize based upon different name or feature you can keep it as feature i'll do classify i have six features okay so i want to select for different feature agriculture green is fine for barren i want to change the color as barren land will be this color will be fine i guess yeah for fellow land fellow agree it should be yellow i'll keep it as yellow it's fine 
okay i hope i feel this is barren okay let me reselect barren again So I'll do fellow agree as some dull yellow color. Okay, forest as dark green color. Forest reason. We just have to choose based upon our interests. Urban is fine. Water body should be blue in color. Based upon the feature, it will be visible clear to our eyes. I'm just making it as. do apply do okay you see here these are these are the feature you have classified so now you just do save okay what is happening here yeah toggle editing or oh, save the feature So manual geometry type is not compatible with the current layer. Okay. Okay. Fine. Now I can change. I just want to save this layer. It's not saving. Let me try to save it. Okay. fine okay you can change or you can keep it also no issues just make sure fellow agree should be in different color and water body should be in different color so okay fine so like this we can prepare or you want this things to be level so we'll go to properties what are the features are there we'll go to level single level based upon the names so do buffer on do this okay now you'll be able to see see what are the features are you able to see now i'll off my background image now you see different features how it nicely it came okay i want to make a map go to layout just give any name l u l c make it add item add map just have selected one small reason so first if you prepare a map now go to your uh gis you keep it as zoom to layer so it will come also like this zoom manner so it will look good so i'll again go add map see here now how it came so we can this zoom in zoom out like this also we can move the feature now i'm keeping it because i want to keep the legends here that's why i'm just minimizing a bit i'll go and select label will be your land use land cover land use land cover class i just increase the font size bold it okay fine keep it in middle keep it in center do like this yeah i want to increase size a bit more to look good okay fine so move this so to move inside feature as i told you have to select this tool this you see my cursor this option will be able to move it anywhere in the map 
if you have to select other features you just have to select this cursor you can move all this land use land cover things and all if you have a north arrow where is it north arrow you just add north arrow here you can change the design of north arrow also from here as i have told you if you don't like this north arrow so Oh, I can select this also. I can select this. Or I can select this. This is fine to me. And then I'll select this output boundary. I want to keep a frame here. I want to keep the background color in a different color. Not So if I keep background color in some other color, my feature will be a bit attractive clear to see watch see here you can change your this feature shades okay like this just arranging my objects and then what is missing is scale bar scale bar should be here this is the scale bar what else is missing legion so let's me keep the legion that is very important part of the map so legion will be i am having a lot of things here first i'll off this auto update option okay then i'll select what are the things which i don't want so i don't want all these things i will negative this delete option is there i just want this now i want to change this you just have to click on that double click chp clip shape you just keep it as lulc classes you can change the font also go to font and formatting option title font will be your bold some big font will be there and then items font will be your bold keep it like this so you'll be able to see subgroup font you'll keep bold and so okay it become more big just decrease the size of item font it will look good and subgroup font also fine this this is the land use land cover class of this region if you want to add the attribute table the area so what we'll do or we can make an excel sheet and we can bring it there also and here i will want to show you how to bring the attribute see here one option is there add attribute table you go okay you just scroll it wherever you want so what attribute which attribute you want so here it came for chennai basin you have to select the shape file i want to go get for clip shape that my study, uh, that what i have uh, chosen so this is not looking good because this uh, area having different uh, decimal manner like uh, the values are very into point zero 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 something so what will i do i'll delete this from here now you see the technique how to bring this uh, thing okay so let me add table if i want to add fixed table add fixed table i want to add some table here you see now how i will add i'll i have selected one reason i'll do edit table when you go to edit table you will get options to edit formatting just just to show you more clearly just wait it's getting so here you can add like if you select this you add one more select clear insert 
I I want to get how many six rows and three columns. So I want to add some rows. Insert two rows above. Again, insert two rows. Then want to select one column. Insert one column. So it has been done. So now you can feed that thing. Ah, uh, we need one more column or one more row. to mention what is a b c so what will i do i need one more row insert row so this will be your serial number i hope i am clear to you it's not going more right for you this will be your l u l c classes teacher this will be your area in kilometer square you can so i'm having six uh sorry six rows of six different features which is you can feed value one by one or else we can go to, we can bring it this attribute table in our excel and uh, we can feed the value directly as i'm feeding here urban water body agriculture uh fellow agri barren and forest so you see here uh urban water body you have to manually enter okay agri culture hello what is it barren and forest i guess just make it barren and forest so barren next will be your forest i just mention all the areas here so for urban we have got 0.646 Point eight nine six. Point six four six. Zero point eight nine six. Next will be your point six one nine. Point seven three one. Point five seven four. And last will be your. What's that? Three point three two seven. I hope it is fine. See, all the things have came here. We just have to. If you want to do formatting, we just have to change the font. Like uh, you want uh, in bold format, or whatever we want to change, vertical center is fine. It shouldn't. It sh I'll keep it in center. Just to see here, it came. This attribute table have came here. If you are able to see, we'll do zoom. Let's see here. So we can keep this one of the. So what we'll do? We'll change the placing of these features. So, am I clear to you? Whatever I have done, is it understandable to you? Yes. Yes, yes. How to do? So this is the class. This is the attribute table feature. Or you can bring attribute table also, but uh, what? Uh, it's just because of decimal values are very high. That's why I did not bring. Or else we can bring also. That is also one of the option. If we have at attribute table properly, 
and there we have to do one thing to to change this uh, uh, values of decimal what we can do i will tell you wait so when we add now this area will make one more field okay add field so i'll do area i'll write uh, this will be your decimal number it's okay not here okay let me bring it from open attribute table so i'll add one field which is called area should be your decimal number we can give the precision here see here there is precision of 3 so what will i do i want to copy the same so there is recent field calc or what are the field values we have we can bring so i want this area should be come here but the precision uh, decimal number whole number should come okay okay let me keep it like this see this will come this much precision i just want precision around 3 only not more than that if i do update existing table it will should ask for precision i'm not getting the precision option string record uh operators symmetry let it be it, it it's not coming the precision option is not active or is which i can change i am i am not allowed to change okay then what will i do go to dollar area maybe then i may be able to get will try one stat geometry dollar area if i divide by into the power It's coming for around this much precision. Okay, it is not working here. Okay, we have to bring it in Excel and then we have to bring it again. Or else, so bigger value. Conditional formatting also. for area i want to do value no uh, this is not the option you have to go with the name decimal number here it will ask one uh, precision for the decimal number it's not getting i am not getting the option okay leave it It's not there. So this is my classes. This is my now. I want to not liking this background. I am keeping the background off. I have to add add this grid. One thing is missing in my map. What is that grid? Which I did not mentioned here. So I'll do grid. Adding grid. I'm just arranging few things. go to grid option if you select this it will ask grid is there add grid grid modify grid change the value it is very small region so we have to be very careful with the grid see 0.001 interval if you take it will be showing you the grid now you change the color background i am changing it's like that i don't like that black one because it looks like my picture is behind the jail so what i am going to do is i will decrease the opacity see here now when you do opacity like this see 
it is your image is more visible than your grids so i want to keep the values of the grids so i'll select draw coordinates when you select draw coordinates it will give you the coordinates all four direction i want with the degree decimal with suffix okay and i want left and right should comes under vertical domain so it will vertically it should appear top and bottom is fine i want to see here the precision option is coming right i want one precision so that is also fine to me but one precision it's showing 79.99 because i have the value from 0.01 so i'll keep 0. Point, uh, i will keep two precision so it will appear see here 79.89 79.90 79.91 79.92 so this will be the you have to check you should not keep always one you have to check uh, what uh, interval you have given based upon that you have to look so like that map is ready if you want to show the study reason from where it has taken now one more thing can be done in this map okay so let me so uh, creating map under a map how you will do here itself so whatever work you have done for this map you want to show it with a uh, reference map how you will show you have to do there is layers option you see here when you select this it you will go get this layer option so whatever works properties you have assigned to this map you can keep it as lock so there is lock layer option you lock it lock style option whatever styles you have given you lock it keep this two as lock now you want to minimize these things see here it won't change it will again see places can be shifted but the things will be there only so this is the land use land cover class map see so just make it as a very nice visualization so what i'm going to do you see we have 10 more 15 more minutes so that's why i'm utilizing the time see here what i'm going to do i'm creating two three maps in a map so how i will make you just see so this is one of my map okay so this is the attribute table this is my legions this is one of my map the size is going very small because this is my study area i want it bigger because main map should appears bigger than other maps okay so uh it should work yeah because i have locked the layer now it's not working first before locking i want to zoom it zoom this map so i will select l do unlock so now it will be when you have to change anything you have to do unlock so see that time i was trying to zoom it was not happening now it's zooming property this map okay so now i want to show you from where i brought this reason i brought this from chennai reason okay so i want to show in my map because whatever works you have done uh, other than this map no one will be aware of like what other things you have kept then you clipped it then you brought from where you brought what this is speaking what reason it is so no one will get to know so to make people aware regarding from where you have brought what analysis you have taken before getting this map so you just log this layer will go to your qgis go to your qgis you on your these two things keep this off you have chennai basin you have clipped reason see here i am keeping the layer uh uh there is a layer option i am keeping the label feature off so label i kept na i am keeping no label so that my this reason should be appear so this is very small reason 
so i have the study area chennai basin i keep it like that now you go to your map add map do add map now you see what is coming here so this is called map making i hope you may be aware of these things so what people used to do i'll just zoom it when you do normal scrolling it won't zoom when you do control and zoom control and scroll it will zoom okay so then it will zoom properly okay so now you have this chennai basin now from where this region also one person is not aware of from where it came so now what you will do you also lock this layer also because you don't want changes because you are going to change in your qgis so the change will replicate here in your map so i'll do lock layer this layer also i am not willing to make it give any changes here uh, we can add uh, we can add label also what is this what is that so let me add a label here this is what chennai basin i just give a name chennai basin any any watershed any catchment sorry any reason you can select and you can make map like that this will be a clear visualization from where you have brought this thing i will change the font bold just keep it as 20 so it will look good to be some and keep it here because upper i am going to keep one more map so now what i am going to do now i have logged na yeah i have logged this layer so i will go to my qgis now what i have i have the google satellite from the google satellite i brought this reason okay i go to my chennai basin i'll go to this simple feature na i fill it i fill it with yellow color any any color you can select yellow i am choosing just to get the brightness or like appearing selected reason Okay, like this. Now you can say uh, we have. Uh, you remember we brought Diva GIS India map, so we have India background, India shape file. So India states. Is that not this one? I'm not selecting this. We have kept. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have this. so which one zero will be the india shape and one will be the states will bring both and we'll see so we have this shape we have this reason we have the chennai so we have to keep chennai up then only it will appear so here it is yeah so what will i do i'll do zoom to layer of this reason go to my map add map now you see here so i want to again zoom in here to make it clear are you getting what i'm doing so this can be the reason the shape file is not exactly bringing just a minute i want to bring another india shape file this is not correct okay let me bring this one hop oh, yeah see it is coming correct so ah uh, we can bring uh, open street map because google satellite image will be a bit uh, darker so it will hide my in this thing that's why so it will look uh, appearing appealing so that's why i am doing google satellite in open street map in background 
I'll do zoom to layer. Now I'll go to my map. You see the changes have been appearing here. So you can make a shift to bring India in the frame. So control and scroll. So you'll be able to zoom in and zoom out easily. So now see what had happened. Now what else is needed here? Uh, nothing now. I will be giving some arrow and location. I'll add. Uh, where is the shape rectangular shape i want to show this reason here this is my chennai reason which i have selected i'll make it hollow or visibility should be zero and i'll make the border of this should be the simple fill will be of your red color or some color which and i'll increase the thickness because it's very uh, i will keep yellow color Already my basin is red color now. To make it decrease the size, it's too much. So this is my reason I have selected. I hope. Okay, I'll keep in this red only. See, this is my reason which I have showing here. Again, I'll copy it. I'll paste it. So I want to show another reason which is my in this map. So this is my study reason which I have made here. So I'll make it in yellow color because here it's already so you'll be able to see it properly. Make it small. So this is my reason. So I'll do a give frame so it will look a more finer image background you see your map is ready you can make any changes here just make all the borders properly fine so this you can just go to layout export image as okay okay just i want to save it as lulc map save it what is the date today is 25th of april 23 i'll save it i'll do save you got it how to bring three map uh here we should have i should have add as i have added chennai we just have mentioned mm -hmm. but it's okay india is already appearing and i'll go to my files you see where I have saved an output. This class and particular, this output, the imagery have been generated. You see here, where location you will give. Let it come, it will load. Just now generated. So, this is my different classes map. Okay. fine i have covered all the features got it we can add one more title here india so like that we can move so in this class we have prepared few maps this map this map this map so this is the and this map also all this class for today's class thank you guys for being patiently here thank you so much for joining the class